I recommend you download this app. It can be used for using reference windows or any app you want. It can also be used to search studio light players. When you press insert read, you will get these two options, avatar or templates. You can input other users avatar or just use templates. I recommend templates. After you press templates, this you will pop up asking if you want R6 or R15. I rather use R6, but for now I'm going to use R15 to show you why it's more difficult than R6. After that, it will close all of the templates thing. Just press on the red again to open save slots, animation save slots. And then just press load and it will load it into the animation editor where you can start animating. Just click on the part of the rig you want to move and just move it like this. You can drag it and you also have rotate. Basically, it does what it says. You can rotate the rig like this. Also, at the start, make sure to make a position. You can make the basic Roblox standstill position. I recommend that for R6. Let me make a quick position right now. And there you go. Let me zoom into first person real quick. Also, there's a, a selection box, a drag selection box. Let me create a quick little animation to show you how to use it. Also, let's say you don't like your keyframes being squinched like this. I have a solution. Just open the settings. And hold on. You see how my thing is very short? Only one second. You can actually just adjust it yourself. Just go in animation length and set it to anything you want. I'm going to set mine to 10 like I usually do. But now you're probably like, oh, I didn't fix it. All I did was just made it longer, but now it's more screen jobs. Actually, you have to set the timeline zoom to also 10 to fix that. But sometimes I use five. I don't know, but sometimes I use five. I recommend 10 though. It's more easy and simple. After you set that to 10 or five, whichever one you choose, you can see your things really aren't as close as they used to. Also, you see the timeline thing, they can tell you where in the animation you are. Also, if you just click a keyframe like that, you can like drag it or you can just hold and drag it. Alright, now that the animation is finished, we can talk about this drag selection box. Basically, you just drag it over the keyframes you want to select. Make sure the keyframes are in the box, then you can just move them just like this. It's very simple. You can like adjust it if it's not to your liking, like if it's too slow or too fast. Free Animate also has easing, which I have no idea how to use. You'll probably just have to watch another video on Moon Animator on how to use easing because I don't know to use easing at all. The only one I know to use is consistent. But I do know how to apply them. Basically, you just have to select the keyframe and then press the easing style you want and then it will just change to that but free anime is a bit different you for the consistent you have to select the one before and then it will be consistent not the one after you can also import your own avatar or other people avatars you just have to type in your username or their username and you can also choose from between r15 or r6 i'm going to use r6 as well i like r6 more Basically, you just click on it again and then press load to open the animation editor. You cannot use a R15 animation on the R6. It will not work. Now we're going to talk about onion skin. It's really good and I'm glad it they added right after the game release. Also, the thing does it, animation link doesn't save, so you have to set it back to 10 every time you switch animations. Basically, as you see, it doesn't it doesn't follow the player like. It just stays one place or where you activated it, that's where it stays. But you can just simply turn it off and turn it back on to put it in the position you want to be, like you want the foot to be in one position. You can just turn it off and then turn it back on in that position. That simple. Now let's talk about world space and local space. If you want, you can skip this, it's not very important, but it is useful. The difference between local space and world space, look at local space. The way it moves and look at world space, it moves completely different. Basically local is like you move the direction that the arrow is pointing to. Local space moves the part based on the object's own direction, while the world space moves it based on the global scene. 
So if your character turns local, follows them, but the world doesn't. I got that from ChatGBT because I have no idea what this stuff is by the way. There's also a delete button to like if you don't like what you just made. You can group and delete or you can just delete a single keyframe. Alright, now let me explain cut. Basically, cut you just like, let's say you just pick up something and place it back somewhere else. That's cut. You just cut the keyframes from the certain area where it's at and you can use the paste button to paste it where you want to. Copy is basically the same thing but instead it won't delete the keyframe. You will just copy and you will just have it saved and then you can paste it where you want. Also I forgot to mention earlier, click on the camera icon to enable free cam. Also use the consistent keyframe to create stop motion animation like this. You can also hide your UI to three different. You can hide the animator, which is just the animation. You can hide buttons and you can hide everything like the UI. You can also save your animation by just clicking save, just like that. And you can also export by clicking export and copying this code and using the free anime plugin and pasting the code in the plugin. And you can import the rig or publish animation. That's what I remember. And now for the last unimportant things, you have the loop button which basically does what it says. It loops your animation. I recommend you use it for work, walk animations or emotes that use these loops. Also, I'm not gonna explain most of the stuff, I'm going to explain some important stuff like this. Basically, every time you play your animation, it um, gets get rid of you. You just press on the screen again to stop the animation and you will come back. Now use last easing. Basically you use the last easing style you enabled and used on the animation editor. Here's how it works. Basically you just use an easing style and then you just paste another keyframe or yeah just paste another keyframe and you will just use the same easing style you use last. Playback speed. I'm pretty sure if you're not dumb you'll understand how to use this. If you're even gonna use it at all because I don't think it actually affects the animation inside studio. Anyways, here's my free anime beta settings. Don't use the playback speed, it's not supposed to be set up one, it's supposed to be nothing. Also, I almost forgot to mention, you cannot cut or copy a keyframe and paste it into another animation. That is not yet a feature in free animate, but hopefully it will be soon. I never take Reflecting that's a true